What actions does a nurse take if they are unable to give a prescribed drugs as it is not available in the ward stock? A. Record the reason for the admission on the prescription, inform the prescriber and the senior nurse. B. Ring the doctor and inform them that the medication has not been given as they prescribe the drugs. C. Inform the pharmacies to get the medication has not been given as they prescribe drugs. D. Refer the issue to the senior nurse in charge as they are responsible for the management of the acute unit. Answer is A. If the nurse is unable to give up prescribed drugs as it is not available in the ward stock, nurse need to record the reason for not giving prescribed medication and inform the prescriber as well as the senior nurse. What do early or initial symptoms Alzheimer's disease include? A. Aggression B. Passing or wandering C. Lapses in memory D. Incontinence so answer is C, lapses in the memory. It is an initial symptom which patient with the Alzheimer's disease will have where the person forgets things that he or she should have remembered. A unit supports nursing students. How does a registered nurse ensure that the students are competent to carry out tasks that are delegated to them? A, ask the students to keep the routine record of their practice. B. Ensure that all students read the policies and procedure manuals. C. Ensure practical assessor collect evidence from the supervisor, students and service user to assess proficiency. D. Ensure that each student has an assessor and practice supervisor. Answer is C. To ensure that the students are competent to carry out the tasks that are delegated to them, a registered nurse should ensure that the practice assessor collect evidence not only from the supervisor but also from the student itself as well as from the service user to assess the proficiency. When a patient is discharged from an acute setting, how is the general practitioner informed of their inpatient care? A. A discharge summary is sent. B. The general practitioner will form the hospital to retrieve the information when required. C. The patient is required to make an appointment and brief the doctor. D. A copy of all inpatient notes are sent. Answer is A. A discharge summary is sent. Nurses working with a patient who says they are drinking excessive amounts of alcohol, how does the nurse respond to prevent ill health in this patient? A. Offer education on the effects of alcohol on the body. B. Offer education on the risk of having an accident after drinking alcohol. C. Offer advice on saving money by cutting down on the alcohol. D. Offer information about the alcohol rehabilitation unit. So the answer is D. Offer information about the alcohol rehabilitation unit. If the patient is drinking less amount of alcohol, you can offer the education like how the alcohol is affecting on their body and also how they are risk of accident after drinking alcohol. But if the patient is drinking already excessive amount of alcohol, at this time, you need to offer information about the alcohol rehabilitation unit so that this unit can help the patient to stop excessive amount of drinking of alcohol. A nurse finds a patient in a hospital setting who is having a tonic clonic seizure. What are their first action? A. Administer sedative medication, oxygen 15 liter, and complete a full AE assessment. B. Call for help, ensure safe positioning, apply 50 liters of oxygen. C. Attest to monitoring, call for help, inform the family. D. Give the patient something to bite on, call for help, and attest to the monitoring. Answer is B. So, in this condition, first you need to call for the help. Then ensure the safe positioning so that the patient will not aspirate the food content into the lungs and then you need to apply 15 liters of oxygen. When undertaking phlebotomy, which of the following veins is most commonly used? A. Cephalic vein B. Popliteal vein C. Jugular vein D. Femoral vein Answer is A. Cephalic vein What does standard precaution mean? Caring for patient. A. 
high level precaution which include all disposable bedings and utensils for all healthcare staff b basic infection prevention and control measures which includes hand hygiene and safe disposal of all waste by all staff at all time c taking precaution when handling blood and high risk body fluid for relevant medical person d selective precaution which involves safe disposal of clinical way for all person involved in the care process answer is b basic infection prevention and control measures which includes hand hygiene and safe disposal of all waste by all staff at all times a nurse is taking a client with a learning disability for a hearing test how does the nurse help the client understand the information leaflet that is provided a use pictures and easy read materials b explain the procedure to their relatives C. Give them time to read the leaflet. D. Read the leaflet to the client in a loud voice. Answer is C. Give them time to read the leaflet because client with a learning disability may have difficulties in reading and understanding the information. So the nurse need to give them time to read the leaflet and understand it. An elderly frail patient is due to be discharged home. The patient says that he live alone, but his notes say he live with a family. He is not be able to manage alone. What action does the nurse take? A. Nothing as the patient to will probably be all right. B. Check the details on file and discuss a home care package. C. Get the patient address and plan a visit to see them. D. Tell them it is better if they go into a permanent care. Answer is B. Check the details on file and discuss a home care package. What support does a nurse give to a patient who has become anxious while waiting for a lumbar puncture? A. Ask the doctor to explain the procedure and the prescribed medication for the anxiety. B. Explain and discuss the procedure with the patient, ensuring that they fully understand to alleviate anxiety. C. Provide a leaflet for the patient to read and answer questions later to alleviate anxiety d ask the patient relative to explain the procedure to the patient to elevate anxiety answer is b explain and discuss the procedure with the patient ensuring that they fully understand to reduce the anxiety working across multiple team can also be known as collaboration between a professionals b agencies c staff d teams answer is a professionals an adult patient sister is a nurse. She asks another nurse for the patient test result, which has not yet been shared with the patient. What action should be taken? A. Give her the result, but ask her not to say how she got them. B. Tell her that the friendship is over if the results are passed on. C. Do not give her the result and explain about professional responsibility. D. Give her the result because she is a friend. Answer is C. Do not give her the results and explain about professional responsibilities. A young person with a complex need is being transferred to an adolescent unit, which is a considerable distance from their family. The patients are unhappy with his proposed transfer. What is the nurse's responsibilities? A. The family should be encouraged to respect the skill and expertise of the doctors who has planned the transfer to meet the needs of patient. B. A young person requires complex care which can only be provided in the distance specialist unit. Therefore, the nurse need to be explained as transfer. C. The nurse should raise the concern and issue on behalf of the family at the next team meeting. D. The nurse must report and document the concern and preference regarding the transfer in a timely manner and provide explanation. The answer is B. The young person requires complex care which can only be provided in the distant specialist unit. Therefore, the nurse needs to expand the transfer. When removing a closed system vacuum on the nurse, A. Says routine drain removal is a doctor role. B. Ask the tissue viability nurse to remove it. C. Remove the drain gradually by pulling on it. D. Release the vacuum and gently remove it. Answer is D. So the first uh, nurse need to release the vacuum and then nurse need to take out the stitch holding the drainage in the place and then remove the tube. A patient is on four hourly observations. A nurse notice that observation has not been done for 12 hours. What action does the nurse take? 
A, check the observation and report the issue to the ward manager. B, the observation were normal so no action is needed. C, speak to the nurse who was on duty when the observation were missed and tell her not to do it again. D, report the issue to the ward manager and complete the incident form. Answer is D, report the issue to the ward manager and complete an incident form. A patient who presents with a head injury and is on anticoagulation therapy has what imaging as a priority? A. X-ray B. Ultrasound C. CT scan D. MRI Answer is D. MRI So the person who is taking anticoagulant therapy are increased risk of bleeding after head injury. So the MRI give a clear picture of traumatic brain injury and where the damage and bleeding occur in the brain. A person who has limited communication and his always has indicated to a nurse that he would like support in losing weight, who does a nurse involve? A. Dietitian, Occupational Therapist, GP and Social Worker B. Dietitian, Physiotherapist, Nurse and General Practitioner C. Occupational Therapist and Psychiatrist D. Social Worker and Physiotherapist Answer is A. Dietitian, Occupational Therapist, GP and Social Worker. In a hospital dementia unit for patients with advanced disease, a nurse uses reminiscence, de and distraction. These are all type of therapy classes, therapeutic intervention, C. Therapy services, D. Therapeutic relationship. Answer is B. Therapeutic intervention. What medication can turn the stool black? A. Potassium B. Frusamide C. Iron D. Paracetamol Answer is C. Iron So iron tablet turn the stool in black color. What is the most common cause of pediatric cardiac arrest? A. Anaphylaxis B. Myocardial infection C. Electrolyte imbalance D. Hypoxia Answer is D. Hypoxia so the hypoxia related to respiratory distress is the cause of the majority of cardiac arrest that occur in the pediatric. When are women most vulnerable to domestic violence? A. When they leave school. B. When they become pregnant. C. When they have suffered from physical ill health. D. When they are under 18. So the answer is D. When they are under 18. Which of the following can prevent effective listening? A. The patient is speaking a different language. B. The experience of the professional. C. Having a difficult conversation. D. Noise level in the room. Answer is D. Noise level in the room. Where does a nurse administer medication via the buccal route? A. Into the nasal passage. B. Between the cheek and the tongue. C. Observed through the skin via patch. D. Under the tongue. Answer is B between the cheek and the tongue. A nurse is doing an admission assessment on a patient and is this struggling to understand the patient accent. How is the situation managed? A. Document what is the thought they are saying and hope this is correct information. B. Document everything word for word and do not ask any more questions. C. Ask another staff member to admit a patient. D. Check understanding, use clarification and active listening technique. Answer is D. Check understanding, use clarification and active listening technique. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, please like it. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get more video. Keep watching. Keep supporting. Thank you.